lot of different hats. You know, balance in life is part of what makes each person unique. And I remember my mom used to always tell me, no matter who you are, or how famous you are, what your occupation is, we all have 24 hours in a day. And how you choose to spend that time, that 24 hours, makes it makes you unique. And every single day is different. That's what I, I love about it, is that I don't have to have all of my attention focused on one thing for 40 hours a week. So I get a chance to kind of put a lot of effort into it when I need to focus on it. So, I mean, I, I kind of like that. You know, it's not nearly as structured as it once was, but, you know, I'm, I'm finding my balance. I, I talked to a good friend of mine. He happens to be an 80-year-old man. He says, you know, life is in quarters. And he's like, Larry, you're in the second quarter of your life. You have a lot of game left to play. Are you going to let the first quarter define the next three quarters of your life? Am I proud of what I did? Yeah, absolutely. It was something I always dreamed about doing. But in the grand scheme of it, I caught a football for a living. And I ran for a couple yards and got my feet in the end zone. Like, the world didn't become a better place. I didn't change anybody's life. There's people out there that are pediatric doctors that are saving children every day, and there's humanitarians across the world. There's a lot of people that are doing some really spectacular things that don't get the attention that they deserve, and I'm proud of it, but God didn't put me on this earth just to catch a ball. And I want to be able to find those things where I can really drill down deep into the things that are really important. Now, I often hear people ask about legacy, and I think it's a profound question because I think when you're young, you don't really know what legacy actually truly means. And as you kind of get older, you start to look around and you see people. I look at legacy as like my grandmother. She's had six kids and 10 grandchildren and everybody loves her and appreciates her because of the sacrifices that she had to make to be able to create a family that's proud. And when I'm 94 years old, like my grandmother one day, I hope I can look back at my children and my grandchildren and my great grandchildren and they actually say, you know, Pop, thank you so much for the things that you did for us. And I think that's what legacy is all about, is just creating a better future for the people around you, making their journey a little bit easier. Not giving them anything, but helping them understand that without struggle, there's not much progress, and to embrace it and enjoy the journey as you grow.